Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, in today's video, we'll see how to dynamically fill uh, drop downs in your, in your Angular application. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I have like three drop downs in my application one is the country drop down, one state, and one city. Uh, we'll try to implement two things basically. First is how to load a drop down uh, when your component loads or like when the application loads. The second one is to conditionally fill or load a drop down. So, for example, say we have a country drop down here. So on selection of country, uh, we need to like based on based on the country selected, we need to load the corresponding state, and based on the state selected, we need to load the corresponding city. So um, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I already have an Angular application running, so I'm already using uh, reactive forms uh, for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I already did a video on how to use uh, reactive forms uh, along alongside. Um, multi cell drop down uh, so if you want to see you can uh, refer that uh, video so here i already have three ng multi select drop downs uh, one for country one for state and one for city so now uh, we will be requiring some data for populating the country city country state and cities so for the for the sake of that data uh, we will be using one npm module uh, called this one uh, Okay, all you've got to do is you need to install it using npmi. You need to install it first. Now, once you have installed the npm package, uh, you need to import it in your component. Uh, import these two things: import sync entry and the interface. Import the module and the interface, the required interfaces. Mm, okay. Now, once these have been imported, let's write a couple of methods. First, let's write a method for getting the uh, for populating. I'd like to get the, for getting the countries. Um, get countries method. Now, let's define a variable for storing the countries. Countries, and it will have the i countries interface, i country interface. Once you have defined it uh, inside the get countries method, this country is equals to uh, csc dot get all countries. That should fill up all the countries, and we'll bind this countries thing. So as you can see, um, we can bind it to our comp component here. You just need to replace the data with the countries and inside the country we need to configure like here then it's the name of the state it's the name and the iso code that are the id and text field so i have also modified it here now you just need to call this method once we have initiated the drop down so now Once you run your application, you should be able to view these things now. Let's also define uh, states. I state array T. Okay. Get as of now. Cities also not. Okay, similarly, cities. I city. Okay. Now once you have these things, uh, you can also attach these things here. So let's add the data for states at state. Similarly for cities, cities should be good. Let's load the component. Now, as you can see, uh, our data and the countries is being populated. The state and in the city, it's no data available. So now, when we make a selection on these things, it should trigger one call and it should fetch the states. So for that thing, we'll add uh, uh, an event handler. Uh, 
Let's define a method called handle value changes. We'll add a couple of uh, things here. This dot form, that's our form, right? This dot form dot get dot one change of country. So here I'll put one change of country dot value changes dot subscribe. We'll subscribe to the this chain this thing. Similarly, we'll add one more form state change dot value change dot subscribe form okay. Now, since we are uh, adding subscriptions, let's also keep a, keep a track of the, of the subscriptions here. So I will create an, a subscription array here. And we will push these subscriptions here. And while destroying the, the component, We'll dispose it off. Okay. This also. Okay, good. Now, as you can see, we'll also add one thing called ng on destroy. ng on destroy. We'll check if it's if it's there. Now we'll unsubscribe. Okay, that should be good. Now, uh, while we change the value of country, this should trigger selected country is response. Let's see if it's triggering up. Let's just open the console here. Open it up and so the grandson. So as you can see, it's working. So we're getting the ISO code AF and grandson and all. So now based on this country selection, we need to load the state. Okay. So let's see uh, what's the method for that. So we'll add one more method here. Get state. Uh, this dot states will be equal to the CS dot get get cities or like state state of country and we need to pass the country code country code uh, you can pass it from here okay country code here so here we can just not get state and we can pass the country code. The country code is ISO code. So the country code is ISO code, so it will be in response uh, dot ISO code. So based on this, we should be able to get the states. So I'll just save it. So we don't require this now. Let's save the application. Now if you run the application, if you select the state of Afghanistan and check the states, Okay, it's not loading. Let's see why it's not loading. So let's check. <laughs> let's try to debug here. We go to source here. You can see that uh, on change of this, we are able to get a call here. Okay, so I'll just change it once again. 
and add a land island. As you can see, spawns is an array. Okay, that's why it's not loading. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll enable one country selection first. So that it's unable to select multiple items here or multiple countries. So we'll go to the init drop down settings and uh, single selection will enable is true one. Now once we have a single selection in our country, we'll be getting one entry per time. So we can do like this and the ISO code. Now it should load. Go for this or Albania should get the corresponding states. Similarly, uh, if you select one state, you should be able to get cities corresponding to it. So let's add one more method here. Similar to the state, we will add a method called get city, where we will be passing the city code. Now based on this, we can populate the city list cities equal to c dot get cities of state and it's requiring the country code as well as the state code okay so it will be the country code and the state code okay the country code and the state code Now, when we have it here, we'll just see what value we are getting here. We'll just install dot log state selection. You see here, I'll select country. If you go to console, it's nothing here. Now, if I select state, state, it's bad because state selection I'm getting. I have a code for this thing, and so the country code I need to, I need to keep it keep I need to store that country code somewhere. So uh, what I'll do is I'll save the country code here. Uh, maybe I'll keep two variables for that thing. Select it. Country code, which will be a string. Selected. Ah, that's so that's only because the other is not required. So, selected country code is there. So, what I'll do is I'll just set it. Start, uh, selected country code is uh, response zero dot ISO code here. Now, the same thing I can use there. So, this dot get city and I'll pass in the country code as this dot selected country code and response zero dot iso code okay this should work i select the country as yes, let's say india india states i'm selecting delhi cities comes up as early per bhavana central delhi dioli etc etc so it's good right so I hope uh, you find this tutorial useful. Um, do let me know if you have any doubts related to this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching.